makeup and accessories haul and this is all from a website called shopmissa.com and everything on the website is, is exactly one dollar. But yeah, I have this huge, well not huge, kind of small box, but it's with a lot of things, 40 items. Since the website is exactly one dollar for everything, they have a lot of elf stuff and I like love elf so I was like yeah, half my stuff is pretty much elf. Anyways, I'm just going to get right into it because I don't want a very long intro but I just want to let you guys know before I get started that I'll have the link to this website in the description um, because sometimes even if things for a dollar aren't the best quality, it's just nice to like try things out because sometimes you can get really really great things for a really affordable price so that's like the whole point of this video and yeah also I'm in a different location because I didn't want to set up my lights and so I'm just in my like house family room because there's a like gigantic window right here so yeah that's why I'm sitting here. Um, but yeah let's just get right into everything that I have. The first thing is this pearl necklace and I got this for my um, like vintage 1940s look that I did for the NYX Face Awards which was my last video that I posted. I'll have it linked down below. Please vote for me. By the way, I'm, I am entering the next Face Awards and the if you like it, it counts as a vote so that will like really help me out. But yeah, I got this for this but it, I think it looks really cute with this dress. Um, and then it also came with these little like pearl earrings. So yeah, I got that. So I wanted to try out their Luscious Liquid Lipsticks. I've heard a little bit of things about these so I just wanted to try them out and see how they were. Um, so I got three colors. The first one's in pink lemonade and then this one is in cherry tart which is pretty much the exact color as pink lemonade just this one looks a little bit more not as much shimmer. And then I got this really pretty baby pink in baby lips. The next lip product that I got from them is their plumping lip glaze and plumping stuff usually burns my lips and I don't like that feeling but I decided to give this a and this is in the color Fire Coral, and it's just a really pretty, like, hot pink color. And then I decided to get two of their essential lipsticks, because these are ones that are dollar. And the first one that I got is in the color Nostalgic. Um, the packaging is cute, but it the packaging sucks. Like, it's so hard to twist these up. I've used this a couple times, so, like, it's a little bit looser now. But once you first get it, like, you think you're going to break it. But it's just a really pretty nude color. And I really like this. It just looks like this. I'm so obsessed with this. I really, really like it. And then the next one, I haven't tried this one out yet, but this is in the color Sociable. And it's just like a hot, hot neon. Oh, God. okay, that's too high up. Okay, that's what this looks like. It's just like a hot, kind of raspberry pinkish color. So, yeah, that looks pretty for the springtime. Then I went crazy and got a crap load of their liquid eyeliners because I love e.l.f.'s liquid eyeliners so I got two of the black ones because I've only had the brown one um, so I was like I need the black because I use that more than brown so I got two of these and I'm wearing this on my as my eyeliner today and I really really love it. Uh, the next one that I got is in coffee which is just the dark brown color and then I also got one in stardust which is just like a that's hard to like get out um it's just like a white kind of pinkish glitter that will be like pretty for like different kind of makeup looks for tutorials or just to add a little bit of shimmer to your eye look. Then I got their e.l.f. eyelid primer but this is in the color champagne because I love Urban Decay's Primer Potion and Sin and I wanted to see how this compared so I got this. And then I got two of like their brushes so I got the brow comb and brush because I've always needed just like a brow brush to kind of like tame my brows before I do like put product on them and stuff. And then I also got the lip defining brush which I thought would just be nice for like bold lip colors. But this is kind of weird because the brush is not like stiff. It's like, it's like loose as you can see. So I don't know how that's going to work but it's a dollar so like it's okay. And then I got their Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I use both sides for brow gel because this just really sets your brow in place. Um, especially in the summertime, the eyebrow powder is probably just going to come off in the hot weather. Wetter. It's going to come off in the hot weather when you're sweating, so yeah, I got that. As you can see, I went crazy with the e.l.f. products. And then I got their Facial Whips. So these are supposedly, you can use them for your cheeks, your lips, and your eyes. Um, so the first one that I got is in Golden Peach, and it just looks like this. They smell like lemonade, like orangey lemonade. 
it's really weird, but it's like a good smell. So I got this one, and it just kind of reminds me of like Benefit Watts Up, that kind of color. And then I got this one, which I think is the most wearable in uh, Lilac Petal, and it's just like a really frosty kind of pink. I think this is so pretty. And then I got this one in Persimmon, Persimmon or something, and it's just like a really vibrant pink so this might be good for like a cheek color I don't know though because they're really shimmery but I'll just have to see like test these out and work with them to see what they're good for and I'll let you guys know and then I got two of their tone correcting concealers both in different shades because as the summer goes on I know I'll be getting tanner so the first one that I got is in rosy beige and it just looks like this I like the packaging it's like cute um this has that same like lemon smell which is like, oh gosh, whoops, hopefully that's not on my nose the whole entire video, um, but yeah, it has like that orangey smell, which is weird for concealer, at least it's not a bad smell, I'd rather have it have no smell at all, because that, this might linger, but yeah, and I've tried these before, and they're not like good for blemishes, they don't really cover those well, but they're really good at like brightening the under eyes, so for a dollar, I think these are a good price. And I also got one in light beige, which is just a little bit darker, because this one's more of like a pink undertone. You can't really tell in this lighting, but they're different. So I have two more products from e.l.f. I got their all over color sticks, which again, you can use as like highlighters or as cheek colors. So the first one that I got is in the same persimmon. And this is so pretty. It looks like the lilac petal more to me. It's just like a really nice, frosty, shimmery pink. Kind of like high beam. So that's what it looks like. I think these are, they have the same smell again. <laughs> and then I also got one in Toasted. And I thought this was going to be like Benefit Watts Up. But it's like really brown. So maybe this looks like the color tattoo in Bad's the Bronze. And this is in, if I said already, Toasted. So as you can see, it's like really bronzy. Like... That's definitely not a bronzer, no. But I'll have to work with this. Then, like, their other makeup brand was from Clean Color. So I just got two of the Miss Chick blushes. And the first one is in Redwood. And it's just, like, a really dark color. And these are so pigmented. Kind of kind of chalky. But, I mean, we'll see how it works. That could be pretty when you have, like, a really nice tan. So that's how this one looks. And then I also got this one in Spice, and it's just more of like a orangey pink. Um, so yeah, that's how this looks. Definitely you have to use a light hand with these because they're so pigmented. Then also from Clean Color, I got two of their Single Baked Shadows. This one's in the color Golden Poppy. It just looks like this. It's a really pretty like orangey kind of sunset color. It reminds me of like the Golden Hour, and wow, that's like a really nice color it's like good consistency too I really like that so I got that and then the next one is in terracotta which is like again in the kind of orange family but this one has a little bit more brown in it and that's so pretty so it's right there yeah these look really nice and then I got a cream shadow from clean color and this is in the color turquoise and I'm not going to use this as like a shadow well I have a hair in it because I use this um, but I use this for under my lash line because I think that's really pretty in the summertime. So, yeah, it's just like a really pretty blue color and it's so pigmented. Here's a swatch of that. Sorry, the last, like, couple, maybe a lot of minutes, it was really bright, um, but I just changed the setting. <laughs> this eyeliner is from Clean Color and it's their waterproof eyeliner pen and I love this. This is, like, so nice. Um, it just is a felt tip and... It applies so nice you can do it like thick really thin so these three are like it and yeah we'll see if it's waterproof but so far I really like this I think this is nice and it's a dollar and then also from them I got the clean color lip liner pencil and this is in I think deep red and it just is a red moving on to nails I got so much nail polish and they had really really pretty shades the first one is in wave of peppermint and this is the most beautiful color ever this is so pretty the next one is just your classic hot pink in Barbie pink and then I got this super pretty blue shimmery metallic color and this is in ocean wave and then I got a lilac purple which I think is so pretty for the springtime and this is in pastel purple 
And then I got a white because this is definitely like a trend white nail polish. And this one is matte and this one is in Winter Waltz. And I got a matte top coat because I know like American Apparel has one and it's really expensive. But this one is a dollar like I've mentioned so many times. And this is in Madly Matte. And then I also got these little um, beads that you can put like for an accent nail. Like they kind of look like caviar or whatever. You know those things? So yeah, I got a set of four of those and I'm really excited to try those out. I got the Clean Color Wizard Pads Nail Polish Remover Pads in Cuticle Oil. And there's 32 in here and I got mine in the scent Peppermint. So they just look like that and that's really cool. And I also got some flower crowns. I ordered one but they sent me three so thank you. And then I got just like this pink one like... Am I basic yet? So I got a pink one that's like a tie, kind of like more like Greek Grecian. Um, and then I got a red one that's like a headband. This one's really pretty. And then I also got that same style in a blue one. So that is all the stuff that I got from shopmissa.com. I really hope you guys, whoa, I didn't mean for that clap to be that loud. But I really hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.